Yes, sir. All right, hey, Rashawn. We're gonna start with Jason Jones. Hey, what's going on, Rashawn? How's it going? All right, just, you guys went through that nine game losing streak and things were looking pr pretty down for you guys. It seemed like since then, you guys have had a resolve and especially since the break, you guys have played really well. Just what was the messaging from the coaching staff and Luke that kept you guys through that rough patch to where you are right now? I think just keep coming in and getting better, focus, you know, um, focusing on our weaknesses and uh, really just trying to turn them into strengths, make sure we gelling together. But the main message was just to come in here, come in every day and continue getting better, whether it's watching film, staying on the court a little bit longer or just working harder to get through whatever work time we're going through. But that's always been the message, stay together and keep putting in work. And I think we just started to see some success off the hard work we've been putting in the season. And uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling. James Ham, Rashawn, you guys had seven guys scoring double figures tonight, including two guys who literally just showed up like two days ago. Uh, just how how impressed are you with the way that those guys are are fitting in so far, and just the length and athleticism athleticism they add to you? Oh man, it's uh, it's been amazing. You know, we got a lot of good pieces. You know, that came in ready to work, ready to guard, especially you know, just play tough on the, both sides of the ball. And I think that's something we've seen, you know, especially with Mo and TD coming in, you know, those guys are just giving us that unbelievable toughness, unbelievable versatility, and uh, it makes us so much better. So, you know, just looking forward to going forward and uh, continuing to gel together. Sean Cunningham. What's up, sir? Yeah, just kind of following up on that a little bit. Um, you guys were playing, this streak kind of began before they got here. Um, just how impressed have you been with the way when you add so many new pieces that you were able to kind of keep that thing rolling with these guys? I mean, it's just, it's just been us, you know, the, the message has been, like I said, to just continue working and continue to gel and just trusting the work we've been putting in. And uh, like you said, we got it rolling a little bit before the trade and then those guys come in with the same mindset. You know, the line does a great job of, you know, making sure our pace is good. TD has an aggressiveness on both sides of the ball. Mo is just savvy, smart, knows where to be. So those guys came in, you know, ready to fit in and ready to help the team. And I think it's, 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 it's the sky's the limit for us at this point. Tony Harvey. Hey, Rasan, uh, with the addition definitely with uh, Terrence Davis, that gives you guys a legitimate platoon of shooters along with uh, Buddy and Tyrese. I just want to know from your position, the center position, how, how does that work? What's the dimensions on that, you know, having an extra shooter out there who can help you guys spread the floor? I oh, mean, the floor is just so much more open, you know, and uh, for myself, you know, as a center, you know, when I'm rolling to the basket, you know, guys have a tough decision to make, whether to come in and help on me dive into the rim or whether to fan out to our shooters. And so it just makes it tougher. It makes us harder to guard and just gives us another element. So hopefully, like I said, we can keep things rolling and uh, get those guys to keep gelling. Jason Anderson. Hey, Rich, great game, man. Good win. Um, you guys are, are playing well, and, and, you know, it's been been a couple of weeks into this now. How aware are you becoming of, you know, your, your place in the standings and, and what you might be able to accomplish there? I mean, the goal for this team has been to make the playoffs, and that's what we're focusing on. Right now we're just focusing on getting better every day, you know, taking it one game at a time and just uh, worrying about how we can continue to make ourselves better on both sides of the floor and let the rest take care of itself. But, you know, we want to continue to win, continue keeping this thing rolling, and hopefully be in the playoffs at the end of the day. We'll go to Marshall Harris. Hey, Rashawn. I'm just curious as to what your mindset in terms of level of aggression is these days because it just seems like there's just another level that – you as an individual and the team itself is taken in terms of the way you attack. Uh, we saw it again tonight in this game specifically uh, in building a lead early. Uh, I know, you know, the Spurs chipped away. Everybody makes a run in the NBA. But what is the level of aggression? Is that something that's discussed or is that something that you guys just kind of found your identity? I think it's like a sense of urgency. You know, uh, guys understanding the moment, understanding that we have a chance to do something and, you know, not taking the moment for granted. So we're just trying to come out put our imprint on every game, play as hard as we can, and come out with a win, you know. So I think it's just that sense of urgency, you know, the playoffs are looming. Guys want to want to put ourselves in the best position to be there. So we're just playing with a great sense of urgency, a great sense of aggression, and a great sense of togetherness, and uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling. 
Matt George. Hey, Rashawn, when we talked to you back at the beginning of the season, actually like around preseason training camp time, which seems like forever ago at this point, uh, you talked about the the resilience of the uh, resiliency of this team would surprise people. But with the ups and downs of the season, are you surprised yourself by how this team has has, I guess, stayed even keel through everything? And, and how has it been from the player perspective going through a season where there have been extreme highs and extreme lows like this? It's not shocking at all. You know, even in training camp, I said before how we had guys here who were hungry and were willing to just continue working through anything. So it's not shocking to see us stay together, especially from this perspective. I know the type of guys we have in this locker room. And uh, the NBA season, you know, is wild, especially this season here. And you can't get too high, can't get too low. Just got to kind of stay mental, lock in for the next game, the next opportunity, and just try to get better daily. And I think that's kind of how this, this locker room has been taken. Last question for Rashawn, Sean Cunningham. Yeah, I mean, last time you guys won seven of eight, all of a sudden things slid, you know, the other way really, really quickly and had that long losing streak. I was just wondering if, does this one kind of feel any different from maybe that streak that you guys enjoyed before, you know, going going back the other way? I mean, we're winning, you know, we're winning. And our focus is on the next game, to just try to win the next game. You know, nobody's thinking about, you know, streaks or trying to keep or trying not to fall out or trying to, you know, it's, it's not that. We're just going out there playing, going out there focused on winning the next game and locking in on our game plan, what we have to do, taking it one game at a time, and that's what we're continuing to do.